Now with the latest on Jody Arias. She is expected to talk directly to the jury today. ABC's Ryan Owens has more. Jody Arias was scheduled to address the jury one last time Monday. Instead, she let her attorney drop this bombshell. Ms. Wilmot and I would move to withdraw from the case yet again. Yes, for the second time in two weeks, Jody Arias' attorneys tried to quit on the convicted killer. Last week, they wanted out after she expressed her death wish to a local television station just minutes after being convicted of murdering her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander. I said years ago that I'd rather get death in life, and that still is true today. This time, her attorneys threw the Hail Mary pass again after the judge refused to declare a mistrial. Uh, this court finds there is no basis to grant a mistrial. Defense attorney Kirk Nurmi compared the Jody Arias trial to the Salem witch went. trials. This court had a duty to protect Ms. Arias' right to a fair trial and failed to do so time and time again. To the surprise of no one, the judge would have none of it. Your motion to withdraw is denied. The judge ordered right. the penalty phase to go forward. Arias' attorneys responded by saying they'll stay, but will call no witnesses since it's not a fair hearing. They claim one of those witnesses, childhood that friend Patty Womack, backed out of testifying because of death threats. So later this morning, we expect Jody Arias, and only Jody Arias, will address the jury who will then decide if the 32-year-old spends the rest of her life in prison or heads to death row. For Good Morning America, Ryan Owens, ABC News, Phoenix. Joining us now, GMA legal analyst Dan Abrams. So her attorneys try to remove themselves again from the case. They again ask for a mistrial. Yeah. What's going on here? Not, not surprising that the judge said no, but you know, put yourself in the attorney's position for a moment, which is you've got uh, prospective witnesses who are saying, I'm not going to testify in this case mm -hmm. because of death threats and other issues. It's not frivolous. Now, it's not a winning motion, meaning the judge did the right thing here, but they're in a tough spot. I mean, Jody Arias really has become this sort of national pariah, and any witness who testifies on her behalf gets excoriated. Um, and threatened, etc. So that's sort of the position that they find themselves in now as attorneys trying to represent but her. Salem witch trials? Yeah, I mean, look, look there's certainly some hyperbole here. Uh, Jody Arias brought this upon herself. Uh, she's now been convicted, and that's why what she says now is going to be so important. Think about it. The notion that what someone says to this group of people could determine whether she lives or dies. So what does she say? And it's not just what she says, but how she it's says exactly it. exactly right. How she says Because remember, this jury has already said, we don't believe you. We don't believe the account you've already given to us. We think you've lied to us. So she's got to be really careful in not just what she says, but how she says it. And I think what she says has to be, I am so sorry. I am so sorry, and there has to be a sense that she means it. Because all she needs is one or two of these jurors. She's not going to get a unanimous. She's on the record after the verdict of saying, I would rather have death than life. Yeah, and, and that's why I don't know exactly what she's going to say uh, when she gets up there. Because I, I think, I think, and others have said that maybe she was trying to use reverse psychology yeah, uh, on the jurors saying, oh, actually, this is, uh, it's going to be really fascinating to hear what she says. And she may just make a sort of generic statement. Do, do um, you have any sense of how this is going to play out? No. I mean, look, I, what, what the defense is looking for is a juror or two jurors. They're not going to get a unanimous jury saying, we don't think she should get the death penalty. I don't think there's a chance of that. Their best hope is getting one or two jurors who say, we're not ready to give the death penalty, and then as a result, she gets life. That's their best hope here. The trial went on and on and on, and now the penalty phase seems yep. to be going on. And, and, and this one statement from her becomes so important. Yeah. Today. Right. Today. Yeah. Thank you, Dan.